Oh, it's him again, isn't it? Ugh, what an annoying twat. He is the human version of Tennis Elbow. He is the pizza burn on the roof of the world's mouth. He is the opposite of Batman. How many times has this jerkwad texted you on a new account? Three? Five. Good grief. That is really sad and pathetic. How many times do you have to block this loser? I hate people who can't take a hint. Maybe you could try not blocking him and just leaving him on mute for the rest of time. Oh, you already tried that and he's not stopping? Sheesh. I have no idea why he's so obsessed with you. Like, it's been eight months since you cut him off. Eight! Wait, hold on. Don't text him back. He's not worth it. Well, if you really want to reply to him, let me help. You know I've got the best comebacks. Pass me the phone? Thanks. Now, let's see what this sad sack has to say. Wow. He wrote an entire essay. That's rich. Let me read it out. <clears throat> Please, this needs to be stopped. I'm very, very sorry for those little things I said about you, and that pissed you off in the process. Those were just jokes, I swear. Ah, uh, yes, the consistent gaslighting and emotional abuse he put you through is little and just jokes. He's so dumb that I'm surprised his two working brain cells could formulate that sentence. I know, right? And that's just the beginning of the hundred texts he sent. I'm sorry you have to deal with this idiot. No, I'm not giving the phone back if you're going to text him again. Because he isn't worth it at all. You just want to explain to him why he should leave you alone? Oh, you sweet summer child. You're too nice for your own good. You don't owe him a response. Hell, you don't owe him anything. So what if he says he's changed? This is the same person responsible for three of your mental breakdowns last year. I know this because I was the one who comforted you with anime and ice cream until 3 a.m. Hey, don't feel bad about those times. I will always be there for you, no matter what mental state you're in. The bottom line is, I'm not going to let this asshat hurt you again. Even if he did miraculously change into a great person, that still doesn't change the fact that you do not like him, and chances are you will never like him again. You don't need to forgive him. You need him out of your life. Yeah, and some people talk the big talk about how forgiveness makes you the bigger person, but I call bullshit on that. You're already the bigger person. That's how we got here in the first place. Forgiving a jerk like him will only serve to make him feel better. You're not the one who needs closure here. He does. Don't give it to him. Yeah, I'm glad you see my point. Here's your phone back. I'm sorry, he's been saying what? He went deeper into depression because you broke off your friendship with him? Wow. The audacity of this jerk. Of course I don't feel bad about that, and you shouldn't either. It was never your fault since you did nothing wrong. All you did was set boundaries and say, hey, don't talk to me. Yet he has been repeatedly disrespecting those boundaries. Ugh, he's so frustrating. Yeah, well, his mental health is 100% not your responsibility. That's his own business, not yours. He's an adult. He's not your responsibility, and he should see a therapist. Heck, he should just make new friends and leave you alone. Come here. Let me give you a hug. You give the best hugs. You are the kindest and most beautiful person I know. I am so blessed to be your best friend. I will give everything I have to support and protect you. I find existing exhausting, but you make my life so much better. You are always helping me through my personal struggles, and I want to do the same for you. Remember that you are loved, and that I see you, and I hear you. 
There are so many awesome people out there who would love to be your friend too, and I hope you'll meet them soon. <sighs> Everything's gonna be okay.